Another application of context free grammars the yak parsers generator the yacc parser generator input to yacc yacc acronym is yet another compiler compiler yet another compiler compiler see input to yacc uh, yet input to yet another compiler compiler is a context free grammar with each production being associated additionally with an action that action shown in the below for example a context free grammar in the yacc notation identical to that of example 3 that we discussed in the previous see e tends to i expression is id here i is a id here e tends to e plus e means e is a expression here and plus an expression and e tends to e star d expression star expression e tends to e within the parenthesis there is an expression if you consider i tends to a here the id is a here i tends to b b here id is b here i tends to i here id is id is a here i tends to ib is id is b here i tends to i0 id is 0 i tends to i1 id is 1 you can uh, simplify from that uh, productions rules and the next uh, application of context free grammars is markup languages the strings in a markup language are documents with marks called tags which specify semantics of the strings an example html you know very well html acronym that is hypertext markup language for web page design including two functions creating links between documents and describing formats of documents let us take another example let us take one example of html of a web page see thing the thing i hate it's a one sentence within the paragraph tag you have written the thing i hate the thing i hate you have written and uh, next uh, ordered list and uh, list item these tags i have used here to represent about one example of a web page in the html language see you just look at this slide you can understand easily uh, what it is going on how it has written in the form of uh, html language to keep uh, our content as a paragraph you have to use paragraph tag and uh, if you want to arrange uh, all those sentences in the form of ordered list you need to use order list tag see in this order list you can take uh, list items that will be uh, printed in the list where like one first one second one likewise you know very well about that and uh, this order list order list tag has been closed here and uh, here uh, em tag is there em tag emphasizing text tag it is emphasizing text tag see within the em tag there is a hate word this hate word has been printed as a italic font see to print italic font you we are going to use em tag here I just use the em tag to print italic format emphasizing it is going to be emphasized within the paragraph this hate only be hate, hate word only uh, be emphasized here so to represent that I used em tag here so this is about uh, one kind of application of context free grammar see the left side is a the text as used and web page on the web page you can see this text and the source code of html it would be like this the continuation of the, uh, the previous example the meaning of tags let us see p tag is a p tag is for paragraph it's a unmatched single tag and em tag it's a emphasizing text it is a matched tag pair and list item li tag is a list item tag it's a unmatched single tag ol order list it's a order list tag it's a matched 
tag pair how can you say that matched tag pair and unmatched single tag see there is only p tag here so if it, if you want to say that it's a match tag there should be like this another tag should be here see if you consider this em tag there is a opening tag and closed tag so that it's a match tag there is only one tag here single tag so that it is it was not matched so that is the reason why we are differentiating with unmatched unmatched and matched okay that you need to remember the continuation you can see a paragraph tag uh, it was it was written like this the thing i em tag and hit em tag close and em tag uh, that has written and order list as there in the order list like this and list item is there so these are all has been printed on the screen okay so this is the meaning of this html source code let us see the part of an html grammar in the markup languages the part of an html grammar see the first one document is doc 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 tends to epsilon or element doc next element tends to text or em doc em it was closed in the em tag or paragraph tag it was considered doc and order list it was considered as list here okay you should remember that whatever the previous html code is there that html code has been divided in the form of productions if you write those code in the production format you need to write like this this is the order that code is going to follow see for document it should be like this element these all comes under elements next text text tends to epsilon or char text and char a tends to sorry char char tends to a or capital a or so on a list tends to epsilon or list item list list item tends to li list item dog so you can write like this uh, Uh, the previous html code in the form of productions so this is also one kind of application of context free grammar